Hey Jax, you want food? Want some food? Okay, I'll give it to you. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.30 a.m. and Hydrox has been meowing for food, so I just gave him half of a can of the Deccan's tuna because he likes tuna lately. And he's just been really finicky with what he's eating. So, yeah, you saw what just happened. He, like, tasted it. He's like, I don't want it. Now he's walking to the automatic feeder. And there's Hydrox eating dry food out of the feeder, which is fine. It's food. And that's why I don't give Hydrox a full can of food. I just give him a half a can of the tuna. If he doesn't eat it, it'll just stay outside for, I don't know, Ditto or whoever else comes by. So about an hour ago, I heard Hydrox meowing. And I said he must be meowing at Ditto. And sure enough, uh, the next thing I heard was Ditto meowing. And the two of them were meowing at each other for a while. This is a kitty city royal gatehouse and this is what stella is getting for her fifth birthday isn't this cute i when i saw this in the store i automatically thought of stella because it's just so perfect for her it looks like a little cat castle um it says included in this box is one fabric gatehouse 13 easy fittings one plug and play flag 17 pipes and four stability caps so this does need to be put together and i don't know if you could see this but it is part of like a modular kitty castle um but i don't have room for that whole thing so i just got this piece and i got this a while ago it was at uh, the christmas tree shop their new stores are called and that so this is 12.99 i thought that was a good deal And can you see this? See this entire like kitty castle? I think this is so cool. I don't know how well the cats would like it though. Um, I don't know how sturdy it would be for them, but this is basically like the top part of this kitty castle. So uh, if I wanted to, I could probably get expansion modules, but I'm just gonna see how she likes this one. And then down here it says collect them all. So it has a grand spire a gatehouse, a magnificent tower, a catwalk, and a garden grotto. So while this is really cute for cats, I don't know how practical it is for them because the cats do like to scratch on things and obviously this does not have like any scratching posts or anything like that. So even though this is really cute as like a play area, um, as far as like a scratching post or anything like that, um, I don't think it's really good for that. And then here's the side. And then this is what it says. It says cat habits combine. Nobody knows your cat better than you. That's why we created the imagination inspiring modular kitty city cat furniture system. The easy to assemble expandable environment you designed for your cat's individual lifestyle. Cats cycle through various personalities during the average day. Whatever the caper, they will love the stimulating and comfortable urban metropolis you create especially for them. No need to ponder the possibilities. Get started building the ultimate city for your kitty right now. Snooze. Cats doze off several times a day after a leisurely day of chasing balls, jumping at shadows, and staring out the windows. Your cat will love to catch a much needed nap on one of our unique slumber products. Keep your furry friend off your nice furniture by providing a worthy alternative. When it's time to snooze, a kitty city bed gives even the pickiest pet a dreamy destination. Play. Playing and hunting are closely linked activities. Cats hunt for thrill and because hunting is an essential part of their behavior, by providing cats with toys, they are encouraged to play predator, hunting games with their prey, or the toy you are supplying. Hunting activities keep your cat from getting bored and help prevent unacceptable behavior to you and your home decor. So now this is Mark 2017 Made in China from Sport Pet Designs. Okay, so let's see. Let's see exactly what's in this box. Let's put this together. Okay. 
So these are all the pieces that come with it. And I'm going to open this first because I think this has instructions. Yeah, this has instructions. So this is pipe and joint assembly. There's the flag. And here's the, uh, the covering. Step one, assemble pipes into joints inside roof of fabric body as shown below. So now I have to find the pieces and um, all pipes and joints are assembled inside the fabric body. Then they give you a skeleton view for reference and then you do the wall. So first it is the ceiling and then it's the walls. Okay. So these are all the various pieces that come with this. There's several different size of pipes. There's like three different sizes and these are all plastic and then there's different connectors. Uh, this connects six pieces. Um, this connects five pieces, two pieces, two pieces, and that's like a cap. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try putting this together. This is Stella's little castle. It's so cute. I'm just gonna keep it here for the time being and we'll see if she likes it. I can always move it somewhere else. Go in there, go in your house. Go in your house, Stella. Okay, Stella has no interest in it. This is Stella's lucky rug. It is a little accent rug that she loves laying on. It's downstairs, it's near the food area. And this is one of Stella's favorite places. Like when she first came inside, this is where the little plastic bed was. So Stella just really likes hanging out in this area. And this rug is a rug that I got at the Christmas tree shop. It's only like $2.99, $3.99, they're cheap rugs and they have them uh, based on the season, based on holidays. So normally I would pick several up for each holiday or for each season and I rotate them. So uh, this was a St. Patrick's Day rug, but because this is a lucky rug and these are the lucky ferals, I bought some extra of these when I saw them because, you know, they're, they're always good for the cats to have. I like them because they're fun and colorful and festive and they're also pretty much disposable. I mean, they're only a few dollars and if and when the cats vomit on them, instead of having to spend a lot of time and effort to clean up the vomit, I could just roll these up and toss them in the garbage. For the past three months, the Christmas tree shop has been closed and I've not been able to shop there and they just reopened two days ago. And of course the day they reopened was the day that I visited them and I bought some stuff and I was so happy to be able to go shopping again. And I got a new rug for Stella for the summer because right now as I film this, it's June. And I'm just about to replace this lucky rug with her new summer rug. And uh, the new one is a little bit different in size and shape. Uh, but I think she's going to like it, so let's swap rugs. Come on, Stella. Come on, Stella. Let's put the new rug down. Come on. Get up. Here's her new rug. I hope she likes it. It's sand and seashells. She should like it. You going to lay on the new rug, Stella? You going to check it out? I still have to take the tag off. She just smelled the tag. Oh, you look so nice on your new rug, Stella. I'm glad you like it. She just gave it her seal of approval. Stella says she approves of the new rug. So I'm gonna take off the tag. And uh, yeah, this is her new rug for the summer. And I got another one for the back door. It's the same one. They had a few different designs. Um, they had like 
one design that had like some surfboards on it. Then they had another design that was like two, two beverages, um, two drinks. Um, I, I didn't like the colors on either of those. I just thought they were a little bit uh, too bright for where I want to put them. And I also thought they really didn't fit Stella's, you know, personality. And I also figured that the one that I put near the back door goes with the catnip beach theme because when the cats lay in the sun by the back door, it's catnip beach. And they do have a really nice uh, blanket or um, floor covering that Zoa made that looks like a beach. Um, but I don't keep that on the floor all the time. And a rug like this, I would keep on the floor all the time. So um, that's why I got another one of the same design for the back door. But glad Stella likes it. It's 11 p.m. and look at what's going on here. Stella's hanging out in her new little house. In her castle. Isn't that nice? So what I had to do was move this over on the play rug. And then I was playing with the cats with this. So I was like taking some toys and putting the toys in there. And then I was doing the thing with the charmer toy. Where I was like dragging it through the castle. And then Stella was going crazy. And then all of a sudden I just looked and she's been hanging out in here. She's probably been hanging out in here maybe half hour now. But she seems to really like it, which is good. I'm happy she really likes it. Stella is a queen in her castle, right Stella? You're a queen in the castle? Stella is a queen in her castle. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.